when your partner engages you, paying attention to that, you know, being interested in what they have to say, um, because that's why you're there, right? You're there to be seen. You're there to feel heard. You're there to really feel nurtured in that dynamic and feel a sense of connection. And so making sure that overall um, you are responsive to your partner when they reach out to you uh, really is really quite important. Yeah, that's something simple, but I know a lot of people struggle with that as well. Just feeling seen in their own relationship. Yeah, for sure. Yes. What are some of the most common issues that you've noticed working with couples? You know, a lot of couples will come to me and they'll tell me, and I've made videos about this one too. So a lot of couples will come to me and they'll tell me they have a communication issue. And while that might be true, there are some communication barriers. There's normally also a connection issue. And so the relationship needs to be prioritized, right? So uh, when you're living life with someone, it may seem like you do everything together and you're spending all of this time together, but often that can be quite passive, right? And you actually need to create like a slot in your day or in your week where you are actually focused on each other and you have conscious attention on each other. You are doing things together. Um, And it's really great if you're trying out new things together Uh, because when you are, you know, learning, experimenting with something new, you're in a place of vulnerability, you're in a place of openness um, as you learn. And so your partner gets to see you in a different light. They get to connect with that vulnerability. Um, So there's a lot of great opportunity there to feel like you're growing together, to feel like you are closer, to feel that you prioritize each other and care about each other. And to also even build a sense of kind of reliability that you will be there for each other as you learn new things together or navigate challenges together or whatever it might be. I think it's also really great in terms of knowing that when you have uh, arguments and when you have issues, you have opportunities in the relationship where the relationship is a priority so that you can address those types of things, right? You don't feel that there's this avoidance happening in the relationship. So yeah, I, I really believe that creating opportunities and slots in your calendar for your relationship, you know, weekly, Mm -hmm. whatever, check-ins, these things can go a really long way until they become more normalized in the relationship. And just to feel that there is that uh, conscious attention to what's going on between the two of you. Right. You're saying it's typically a a common issue is just the lack of connection and the lack of making time for each other, right? Right. Yes, absolutely. So it's, yeah, so there are definitely usually communication mishaps and most people do believe they have communication issues. Um, But what I find is it's kind of cyclical, right? So um, when you have good communication, you're more likely to kind of interact with each other because Mm -hmm. you feel like you can resolve things. And the more you interact with each other, the more aware you are of each other, the more you know about each other, you learn things about each other. Um, And so that can lead to actually better communication, even without needing to pick up too many tools to, mm. to, to really work on that. I see. I see. It's more of like where you direct your energy to. Like if you direct energy and prioritize your relationship, then the communication will naturally flow better. It's not the communication yeah. issue. It's the attention and priority issue. Yes, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a bit of both, but yes, that one is huge. And I think we tend to to overlook that. It's so challenging. I mean, there, people also have really rough schedules and that's something to be mindful of. Some people, you know, they have to work two jobs. They've got kids. They've got so much going on. So it's really rough for them and it's so hard to see. And they're doing their best to kind of learn and work on these challenges and, you know, to speak respectfully and to do all of these things, but they don't find themselves feeling any closer because there is this struggle to carve out that time. But it, it does make a difference, even just addressing some of, you know, your errands together, just finding a way to, to connect in your day-to-day life mm-hmm. um, or weekly. It, yeah, it, it goes a long way. <laughs> 